YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. I wanted to give you guys a real quick tutorial video today on how to use DexScreener.com. This is a great website that I like to use to find coins that can make insane gains like this, like these 15,000 six thousand percent gains sometimes even more guys it's insane the gains that go on in cryptocurrency especially over here on deck screener um but i do want to preface this video just by letting you guys know that none of the stuff that i'm giving you guys in this video should be uh, mistaken to be financial advice I'm not a financial advisor i'm just your homie crypto j i just give uh these awesome tutorial videos help you guys take your cryptocurrency game to the next level and if you guys sit through this video i promise you guys you will be uh, more knowledgeable than i'd say 90 90 percent of people that are in the space right now so today we're over here on deck screener um and we're looking for hot pairs but even before that guys how are we gonna buy these right because right now i'm looking at a lot of solana coins but we can we can organize this through different blockchains so you have to figure out first what blockchain you're going to be trading on i personally like trading on solana blockchain so i downloaded the phantom wallet this is the wallet that i like to use uh, you can buy solana right on phantom you're going to need solana in order to trade on the solana blockchain same thing with ethereum you'll need ethereum to chain on to trade on the ethereum blockchain uh, you'll need uh, Binance to trade on the Binance Smart Chain and so on. So you're going to need those coins and you're going to need to know how to buy those coins. So again, the Solana wallet that I use is called Phantom Wallet. Um, and your Phantom Wallet can uh, just be downloaded. Uh, you could just look up Phantom, but this is what the little logo looks like. I'll also put it in the description too, uh, just so you have that. Um, but you want to download Phantom, and if you're trading on Ethereum or most other blockchains, you're going to want MetaMask. I would say just get both. Honestly, I like having multiple wallets anyway. I don't keep all my funds in one wallet because if you get liquidated for whatever reason or your account gets compromised or something like that, um, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. It's just in my opinion, it's not a very safe thing. Keep some money on Ledger, keep some money in here and there, you know, so that you're kind of spread out and don't have all your money in one place. Because in my opinion, I really don't think that there's ultimately one place to keep all your cryptocurrency to that's going to keep it safe. You can always lose a Ledger. You can always get compromised. Your paper wallet can get lost. You know, all kinds of stuff can happen. So again, I like to diversify and not keep all my assets in one thing. You could do whatever you want, though. Again, it's up to you. Um, but this is, again, Dex Screener, guys. We're over here, and we're able to actually catch these coins sometimes within the first day of launch, guys. Sometimes even within minutes, right? If we really wanted to um, click on this, we could track it, and you could see some of these coins were launched just one hour ago, and some of them hitting a million already, and they were just launched an hour ago. This one, 1.8 million, right? 2 million, 8.4 million launched three hours ago. Some of these coins going absolutely parabolic, and when you see this, you might get super excited, and I want you to get excited. It's great, but we also want to make sure that we're checking these contracts and that we're checking audits and stuff like that, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that to make sure that you guys are hopefully not getting scammed uh, at the end of the day you do have to go out and do more research but this is what I do when I look at these coins and um, it's going to help you out a lot in terms of just knowing what coins are going to be uh, actually worth it even though some of these coins seem like they're worth it they're not actually worth it and some of them guys are scams and so we have to uh we have to know how to, what we're doing and we have to know how to navigate this space so i'm going to show you guys how to do it again i like looking for projects that have a lot of volume on them but uh we can do that just by even going to um if we just go to the home page we can uh usually see the top trending coins oh here they are right here duh yeah, these are the top trending coins right now in terms of what's trending on the five minute, in terms of the what's trending on the one hour, the six hour, in the past 24 hours, you could see what really has volume. So the first thing that I do is I identify coins that have volume, like, man, this peanut coin is one that I found really early. Again, I found this thing around like 100,000 and now it's sitting at 30 million, right? It hasn't listed, I don't think, on any exchanges yet either. Um, 
So this coin is, again, a coin that has absolutely taken off. And when you're able to get into these coins, guys, before people buy them on places like Coinbase and stuff like that, then you're able to really see these things go flying. Some coins, I mean, dude, I caught Shiba Inu before people were able to buy it on big exchanges. So, um, and I did it buying it uh, through my MetaMask wallet. And um, that's how I got into Shiba Inu. And everybody, a lot of other people bought Shiba Inu on big exchanges like Coinbase and Binance and stuff like that. But I've already made a good amount of money by the time those guys were getting in the trade. So I want you guys to be early on these projects too. And the way I do that is by going on Dex tools. So um, this is another coin too um, that has just been running. Sorry, I clicked out that other one. But look, you could the good thing that I like about Dex Screener guys is you could see everything that's going on in the transactions, right? We could see all the buy orders, all the sell orders. Um, this already is going to give you more of a insight on what's going on with your coin, right? You're going to be able to know, um, you know, who's buying, how much they're buying. Um, and if you really wanted to, you can even open these guys' wallets up and you could see all the coins that they have. You could see how much coins that they have, um, just by clicking on again their little contract address you could see this guy has about thirteen thousand dollars in his saw balance right now uh i hope i didn't just randomly click on a subscriber right now but uh you can see you could click on any of these wallets and see uh just how much of the coin they're holding uh also you could just scroll over here and you could see how much their um unrealized gains are too in this coin how much they've bought and sold um you're able to determine all of those things so um, you could see some of these guys still holding a decent amount and they're selling or maybe, um, you know, yeah, vice versa. So uh, definitely things to pay attention to. You also want to do your research on the coin, right? This is the contract address. If you wanted to buy it, all you would do is copy this. You would go into your uh, your photon and then you would swap your Solana uh, for whatever contract this is. You would put this contract address in there and you would be able to buy this coin just that fast. Now, this coin is not even that old, and you can see it's already gone down quite a bit. It's gonna be very volatile. Um, it's only at a 6.9 million market cap. Anything under 10 million guys can really go down really fast. Like, this is like the equivalent of trading penny stocks, you know? You want to be uh, cognizant of that. And again, I don't like to over leverage into these trades. I can't tell you how much to put in them. I'm not telling you what to buy or what to sell. But I will tell you that $5 can go a long way and a coin that can go up 8,000% in a day, 9,000% in a day. You know, that's some good money right there off of five ten dollars You know, you, you five ten dollars goes up 10,000%. That is a awesome payday. That's not a lot of risk. And that's why, again, I like messing around with these little meme coins, but I don't like to over leverage and I don't recommend going and putting 200, 300, Five hundred dollars into some of these coins that are just super volatile unless you got that kind of money to blow but if you're going to be emotional about it if it's like uh money that you really need then i wouldn't be um doing that because that's just not a good idea this market is really volatile and these coins come crashing down all the time so uh the main thing that we want to do though is just make sure that we're getting into projects that um that are good projects that are safe projects at least um so as you guys could see um, this does have a, their website on it, has their Instagram on here. Um, it doesn't have any warning alerts or anything like that as far as um, the audit. You can see the audit right here. Uh, it just brings up this little um, audit for, for deck screener that they give. I'm pretty sure this is an automated audit though. Um, but we could even uh, take this contract address actually. And another thing um, that I like to do after I take this contract address, I go and I put it into a Solana rug tracker. So you could just go on Google and go type in um, Solana rug tracker, um, Solana rug checker, and you can just pull up a rug checker just to make sure. Also, this is just another thing to make sure that we're not getting into sketchy. Oh, oops, I'm not even doing it. Oh, let me do this, right? Solana rug checker, here it is right here. Sorry guys. <laughs> But look, we can go take uh, this contract right here and we wanna take this uh, contract right here for Rizzo where it says Rizzo contract. We're gonna put it into this saw checker to check for rug just to see anything that's going on in this contract. We're still gonna have to do our own research. We're still gonna be looking at transactions. I'm gonna show you guys just how much research needs to go into doing these things or at least how much I put in 
because a lot of people have been asking me to make this video because again i've been early on a lot of coins so this thing is still coming back it's still loading still loading that uh checker so let's actually go back let's maybe it's just this coin that's just taking a long time this gordon coin was actually a coin that was looking pretty interesting too at 2.8 million just launched the other day on the 18th so again some of these guys up pretty good in the past 24 hours right um but that's the thing you want to be early and you could see too a lot of this buy action look at some of this buy action this is a great thing to pay attention to this is all bots guys this is all bot action you could see all of these buy orders that are coming in they're all for the same amount right this is all the same person they're coming in really fast you know this could be some signs that somebody's maybe manipulating this chart and it's something that you want to pay attention to so again uh we just copy that and then look oh look so gordon came back uh, and it came back with a safety test of 85 so they said that the high there is a high risk that seven holders hold less than one one saw balance which to me that's not a very high risk because i don't want as long as they're not holding a lot of the supply um but they also say that to say like you know kind of check those wallets because maybe those top wallets also were moving funds you know um same thing with gordon gordon came back with an 85 um it looks like one top one top holders have less than one percent saw balance so interesting interesting um but uh again this project seems to have no uh issues on the audit so a lot of people also feeling good about this coin with like 1600 people liking it uh 118 people not liking it again maybe they're not liking that bot action that's going on um, but the way that we could see just how much these bots are buying and selling and, and kind of who's doing it is just by again, opening back up the contract. We want to go into the saw scanner and we want to go find the contract for it. So we do that just by clicking this. No, we don't <laughs> tripping. Okay. So we can actually already have up saw scanner, but, um, saw scanner.io, there should be a link in here somewhere to, um, their contract. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. I'm overlooking it or something. Nine times out of ten, there is. I think I, I looked at it before. But look, you could just type it in here. We'll find it right now. Gorgon the bird. Boom. Solscan.io, guys. If you want to go look up those contracts, okay. Um, but as you guys could see, there's been a hundred thousand transfers on this coin. There's only fourteen thousand holders, which tells us a lot of people swing trading this. A lot of bots in this also. Um, we're able to check out this top holder count. I always want to do that. I do it by clicking holder. And then you could see our top holder is Radium. Um, so they have 4% uh, liquidity on Radium. And then the rest of these guys are all open wallets. These are live people. They're wallet addresses. You could click on them and you could see how much they have. You could see this guy has $26,000 worth of Gordon. He is the top holder. Um, and he has had 40, 488 transfers. So this guy is buying all kinds of different stuff. We can see everything that he's been doing um and you know gordon is again one of the coins that he got in early on and hey the guy got lucky so it doesn't look like anything sketchy is going on on that contract but when i go through this guys i am trying to find um who who has all the liquidity right who has uh who's moving the money who has the bot you know i want to i want to know who's using the bot so um again that is uh one thing that is super important to me when i'm in a trade is Who's moving the money? How much money is moving? Let's see if we can catch the guy moving the money, right? So this guy right here, he's the second wallet. Usually it'll be within the first couple wallets, but sometimes it'll just be like on the second page or something like that too. So this guy, he only has 349 transfers. He is trading pretty often. He's moving money in and out pretty often, but um, is this a bot? I don't really know. I can go to the first page and see when this wallet was kind of first funded and what it was funded with um so funded with some other coin it looks like it was just dumped into this bag um hmm, this is also dumped into this bag sometimes they're putting coins into this bag so maybe you know the owner of gordon put this gordon in his bag i'd want to know that too right because then that would be not good right if there was one wallet that was just funding a bunch of other wallets that could just sell on you that would be a red flag that's like not good so I would go through here and I would see like, hmm, did any Gordon get put into this wallet or was his first uh, order a buy order? Did he buy it off of Radium like everybody should have done, right? Everybody should have bought off Radium. 
people shouldn't have gotten coins from the um from the dev right so that's the way that we check that we go into the contract and we're able to check that so again if everything checks out and you like the coin then maybe it might be a good coin to pick up but it needs to be a result of checking all those things checking that audit checking the volume looking at the price history we saw how there was bots we tried to go and look for the bots you know every once in a while you will catch the bot you'll see he has like a million transactions or like a hundred thousand transactions um, and you can see everything that he's been doing. You can see if he's been buying and selling your coin. Again, that's some that's something that they do sometime, right? The the owner of the coin will fund one wallet, and that one wallet will be dumping uh, on you guys the entire time, and you will never know, and, you know, because the owner will have also funded fifty other wallets, and those wallets are all moving money around, moving it around, moving it around, making it hard for you to track. But if you sit there and track it long enough, guys, you can. So. Um, that's just kind of how Dex Screener works. That's how I'm able to use it to find meme coins that do these types of gains. Of course, at the end of the day, guys, you're always gambling. It's not it's not a given that you're going to hit for this much, right? Some of these coins go down. Bought into a couple coins, uh, and they just went down um, just within the past 24 hours. I just bought them last night, and I saw this Trump Shuffle coin at like 100,000 market cap and I watch it go all the way up to a million. So that's going to happen to you too. You're going to see a lot of coins in here. Sometimes you'll just feel like you're buying all the wrong ones, but every once in a while, guys, you might just catch a rocket and that $5 may turn into a good amount of money that you can then go and flip. Um, I would definitely say don't be greedy in situations like this, guys. On this website, this website's really not a place to be greedy because these coins really go up and and they go down just as fast. So sometimes these coins don't even last a full 24 hours. Sometimes they don't even last a full one hour. So just understand that, um, again, there's a lot of risk behind it. So like this is one coin, again, I got into it last night. Uh, it went way up. It went up to like 300, 000, I think it went up to like 500,000 and then it just dropped. But again, the coin is only like one day old. So can it make a recovery? I don't really know. Um, but is there a chance that it just stays on the ground and never comes back? Yeah, there's a chance that and that I knew that when I got into the coin. So again, I wasn't over leveraged into it. I don't recommend over leveraging into anything in cryptocurrency. It's not a good idea, guys. Just not a good idea. But if you got any value out of this video, let me know. If you want a part two to this video, let me know. And if you had any questions on anything that I talked about in this video, also let me know in the comment section and I will make a part two to clarify anything that there is to clarify and also guys if you want to come trade with your boy crypto j in my private telegram i do have a private telegram where you know we can answer questions like things about dex tools and stuff like that and dex screener it's not a place for financial advice people do talk about cryptocurrency in there uh, but at the end of the day guys you got to go out there and do your research on every single project out there uh, again i just showed you how i do my research um, but you should always be doing yours. And so, again, if you got any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. Oh, yeah, duh. If, I, if you want to come trade with me on Telegram, share this video on um, Twitch or on, not on Twitch, on Twitter at JTalks Crypto. So I know you did it. Or if you don't have Twitter, you could just screenshot that you follow me um, and send me a DM on Instagram. And if you don't have either one of those, add me on TikTok, follow me over there. And um, DM me, let me know you want to join the Telegram. And I'll pick you guys up to come trade with your boy, Crypto J. Again, guys, I try to give as much free quality content as I can on this channel. Do not go pay a guru, guys. Go, don't go pay somebody for the information that I'm giving you for free. Again, just ask the question if you need the answer, and you might see it answered in my next video. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.